everybody. I have got a new order from Timu that I want to show you. Timu. Okay, I finally learned how to pronounce it. So, I'm going to unwrap the packages that I got, and I want you guys to join me. So, while you're jumping on, I wanted to show you my tie-dye guy. So, tie-dye guy was designed, I don't know, probably five years ago in my little building across the street. I loved him. He turned out great. Took me a while to get done. Well, I guess you got my tie-dye guy. Yep. Timu's got my tie-dye guy, but that's okay because it's kind of over and done with. I'm not making him anymore. So I know it's, it, it's crappy that they steal our stuff, but I always feel like, okay, well, they got him, but you know what? They also got the burn marks from him from where he was printed on wood, wherever they picked him up from. And so I think it's kind of funny that he has these burn marks. My mom put this together for me and it's like, I would have never had it had they not taken. So anyway, even though I don't justify them taking anybody's things, I always figure kind of actually a little bit flattered because I'm always creating something new. Every day you see me in here painting something different. What I painted one year ago, two years ago, I don't care about because it, it's over. And probably a design that I don't really care about anymore. So that's my take before I get all the hate comments. Why are you buying from Tamu? You know, the whole thing. It's okay. I'm, I'm fine with it. And I got a little diamond art and they don't do it really well. <laughs> So, you can tell she would have had to have had this um, professionally framed because the sizes don't even match that you could put these in a regular frame. So, it's like, mm, we all have those experiences with places who don't make things like they're supposed to, but I'm okay with it. So, no hate comments. I, I'm good. I am good. So... And I don't got time to sit around and worry about what they took or what they did. You guys, I worked for a company that made my stuff in China. And I always stayed one step ahead of them. I made good money doing it from them. But, you know, it was like they were designs I wasn't going to use anyway. And I even competed with myself at craft shows with them. You know, I, it never hurt me in the least. People wanted my things. I even bought some of my things from this company in China. And it, it looks so crappy. They would take take apart. So I worked for a company out of Ohio, but they didn't claim anything because then it was illegal. But uh, I got paid for what they made. And so he would take one of my paintings. So maybe we had a snowman over here, a log cabin over there. And they would take the snowman off that, put it on like a shovel or whatever. They'd stretch it out. It looked like crap. I bought my own stuff. I couldn't sell it. How they wholesaled it is beyond me, but I made good money with them. So that's all that counted. Oh, Don just got some stuff. I hope you ordered some brushes. Hi, Jean. Um, yay, Pamela did her lamb. Hi, Sandy. So hi, Mary Ann and Rosemary and Pamela. So that's my two cents before I get into unboxing is they got my designs. I'm okay. I'm good. You know, it's just another day in paradise. It's no different than anybody else who does it. But you know what? It's okay because I could teach a hundred people in my group how to paint something. You know how many are going to paint it? Five, <laughs> 10. How many are they going to paint? one. So as that common denominator comes down, it's like, nobody's going to use it anyway. I don't use it. I paint it once and it's gone. Uh, I love to see new orders too. Oh, they're in your, I, I know my, the brushes I got are ones that I just ordered a couple days ago. Anyway, back in my back room, I have some wood shelves. And this slides up under the shelf so that I have more space. And you know what? It's no different than buying my stuff at Dollar Tree or on Amazon. It all comes from the same place. So I don't get 
overly bent out of shape over any of it. Okay, t-shirts for the grandkids. Okay, so Brittany and Cassidy have these bog bags. Okay, let's talk about bog bags. $85 on um, Academy Sports, which is where we bought them. Okay, guess who has bog bags now? Brittany went to Hobby Lobby. They got bog bags. They're not named brand, but you don't see that Academy Sports crying over somebody did a knockoff because you know what? Some people are gonna want that name on there and some people don't care. So anyway, these hook on to the bog bags. That's right, every, your gasoline. You know, I'm, I'm just over, I just do me. It's like, I don't have time to cry about who took what. I'm on to the next design. It's like, they'll never catch up with what's in my mind by the time that they get my design off the internet, they ship it, they may take, I'm done with it. I'm on to the next thing, so. All right, we got some kind of paper. And actually, I think it's Mylar. I think. Uh, Marcy is going to show me how to cut stencils on my machine. <laughs> they're not bomb bags, they're bog, B-O-G-G, -G, and they look like a crock. You know, the crock where you put all the little charms in there? Well, it's a big thing, and I'll show you Brittany's because she went to Hobby Lobby and got some things for it. And so then these come with little buttons, and I mean, it's a big bag. People take them to the sporting events for their kids. You could put a blanket. You could put a lot of stuff in there. Well, then they have like these cup holders, and you insert them just like you do on a crock. And so then you decorate your bag. She's going to sublimate his name or his number on a thing and then you put ribbons on it it's a whole big thing with these 30 year olds that go to the ball games okay another one of their t-shirts not sure what's in here But it, it's something that the young kids, what else does she put on? You can get bags to hook into those little holes. It's a big, well, you know it's big when Hobby Lobby picks it up and starts uh, marketing it themselves. I got one of these for Porter. It's a little rustling guy ring. And I only ordered one, but somehow I got two, so... So, since the charms are, you guys see the charms that you put in your crop and they're really popular. So, this, this is a charm holder. So, if you get your kids um, crocs and then they can hang their all those charms that they buy, by the way, you can get them really cheap at um, Timu, better than other places. So that's to put all their charms on that goes on their shoes. Oh, so here's something that Porter's number is number 33. And so on that bog bag, well, it must be, maybe there's two of them. You put... That's actually a three. I know my camera is backwards. But you slip that in the hole. You can put initials. They sell all these little things to decorate your bag. So it's no longer just decorating your Crocs. It's decorating that as well. So my hats were really good that I got in the last order. So I ordered 12 more. I've got a new hat press. I've got a label engravers so this is a project that we're working on jennifer and marcy will be here on wednesday and we're going to play around with hats Brittany actually booked a hat bar party but we don't have anything to do a party with yet <laughs> hi janet 
I know. Last night I talked about Brittany going to this party with this permanent jewelry. Mind-blowing that they're tiny, tiny little chains that we used to wear with like a pearl or a diamond. Popular now only. They put it on your wrist. They collapse it together so you can't get it off. Some ladies were paying up to 250 bucks for a bracelet that you can't even see from very far away. So, all right. So here is another item that goes on the bog bag. It is a phone holder. Okay, here's some labels so that we can engrave the hats. Well, heat press onto, I don't know. So this heat press that I got, the that makes the hats, I can either sublimate the patches or I can heat press patches on. So Brittany's into these hats too, like this. So she got a green one. And this is all over TikTok. She got Porter's number to put on it. They're the eagles. So she had an eagle, a basketball. I don't know what else on here. A chain to put on the front of it. It's a whole thing with these young girls. <laughs> a whole thing. Decorating them. You know, kind of like we did back in the day when we had charm bracelets. Same thing. Um, it's maybe, I don't think it's been two weeks, maybe a week, a week and a half. Okay, so then, here we go. You can buy the charms. Can you see those? It's like snack food. Those are for the Crocs or the bog bags. Kind of like Doritos and Lay's potato chips. All right, and there's her other number for her bog bag. And then these are for the grandkids when they go to a football or a basketball game. You put those under your eyes, you know, like you do paint, but it comes with a marker and you can write a word on it and then you put that sticker right there. All right. Other new thing that's going on is this kind of vinyl. Let me take these out. Courtney just tried to call. I hope she comes by and sees what it's about. Um, anyway, I have not ordered any. Because we got way too many projects to do in three days anyway. But you can get vinyl that puffs up. So this is the new thing. And then you put that inside of your bag. But, I don't know, yeah, you can see it. See how puffy that is? You can cut that with your Cricut, that vinyl, and then when you put it under the heat press, it puffs up. Yeah, Christina, that's kind of the same thing. So the puffy stuff is back in style. I got one for Brittany and one for Paisley or for Cassidy. I didn't know what the heck these things were. But Brittany told me it wasn't what I thought they were. Anyway, they're a bunch of little monkeys. I was going to put them on the grandkids' um, straws is what I thought they were. But I have no idea what they are. They're, it's a bag of monkeys can't remember what she said they were for. Yeah, like the leather jackets back in the day. <sighs> Hi, Lisa Joe. So we got, okay, so I showed you the croc holder that hangs. And then they got croc holder books. Kind of like a notebook. nice and has that on there so see you could start a collection for your grandkids and they put them on and off i just took a pair of porter's crocs that didn't fit anymore to the thrift store and i had to take off his old charms 
they aren't easy to get on and off. Oh, I love this. Have you guys seen the lady on TikTok that puts her money in the envelopes? I will probably, yeah, I like sticker books. I'll probably never do this, but it is where it's a money saving book. So I'm the person who just has money laying wherever drives my husband nuts. And I probably won't do this either, but there's envelopes and you put your money in these envelopes and you have money stuck away for eating out a birthday fund. Here's your 52 week challenge in order to save $6,000 in one year. So what you do is, oh, you put like $50 worth of bills in one pocket, 200 in another pocket, and you go down this week, every week it has a little thing, and you put the money in an envelope, and then you cross that one off. Anyway, this lady has a amazing system over there on TikTok, better than that. In fact, if I like this, I'll probably go order hers. <sighs> I'm not good either. But if I make things a game, then it works. It's kind of like my calendar where I've been painting every day in it. And somebody said, oh, she'll never finish that. Well, now it's a game. It's like challenge is on. I will have this finished by December. I always have to have a challenge. So I think this is another bog bag. Like my... I bought a big butcher knife to slice little styrofoam balls with. Okay, and then these are little compartments that you put in your bog bag. There's all three different sizes. See, I tell you, people, people find ways to buy this stuff. It's unreal. Um... Hi, Debbie. Isn't it a beautiful day out? It's supposed to be 75 here today. I need to take my uh, jacket off. Sweater. Okay. Sublimated Stanley Cup phone holders or whatever you want to put in there. So you sublimate your picture, whatever you want on there. And then this goes around your cup so it doesn't ma matter if it's a Stanley or like my cheap one which is just as good but sublimation pouches all right so for a hat bar you have to have patches and what easier way to buy patches than what anyway there's a whole bag of patches for a hat bar there's some more patches There's some butterflies, a guitar, a palm tree. Patches for the hats. And these can be sublimated. So, sublimate whatever you want on them. Stick them in the heat press and make a hat. So, the trucker hats are all the style. And it's not just... I thought that they were these kind of hats, you know? Because I like these kind of hats. I'm going to paint this with... Um, Anyway, there's going to be splotches of paint, there's going to be a palette, and there's going to be a big paintbrush that I'm going to paint on here. So I thought this was the style. This is not the style. It's not. I don't know why, but when I got my first order from Timu, and I got these hats, and Brittany's like, that's the hat that's in style. I thought they looked cheap, but it's the hats that have the nylon on them. This is the hat of choice right now. And you can buy these at um, Hobby Lobby for $2. I paid like a dollar something for them. Look at Marcy's over there hyperventilating at all this stuff that's coming in. Yeah, so that's the style, not the one I just showed you. They are old man hats. <laughs> Hi, Melody. 
oh, they're better in the summer. They're cooler. Okay. Summer hat. Didn't know. Didn't know nothing about it. Okay. So then you can buy croc things. Okay. So like if I wanted to take something, I don't know, something small and turn it into a croc charm. You glue this to the back, say maybe an old button, maybe an old something you got. Anyway, you can turn it into a croc charm by using these. They <laughs> make your head. <laughs> you know what, Marianne? If they're going to buy them, I'm good with that. <laughs> I thought that they looked tacky, but Brittany said that these fit better the ones from Timu fit better than the ones from Hobby Lobby. Because she's already made one. I'll, I'll take a picture of her hat and show you guys. They are hats that they wore for work back in the day. All right. Don't know what I did, I'm doing with this. But you also make tags for your bog bags. And this is a mold to make your own something. I think you put resin in them anyway. And then, so the whole, all these young people are all about the Crocs and the bog bags, they're all the same. Now they make bog or Croc bracelets. And then you can take those charms and put them right in these. You guys, if you have grandkids, you need to place an order with Timu because you'll be the coolest grandma there is. I know. <laughs> you look like a bunch of truckers. <sighs> That's true. And then, have you seen on, I don't even have a cup over here, but your Stanley or my cheap cup, you know how the, you have where you put the straw? Well, now you can personalize these. I don't know if these are for sublimation or what they are. Marcy's going to explain that. Um, but they pop on to the top, to the top cover where your straw goes in and you can personalize it with their name. Um, with the bracelets, it comes with the croc charms. You know, the little charms that you can put on. Like these. I bought a bag of charms. And so, Brittany is getting ready to have a hat bar party. Even though we don't got nothing except the heat press for a hat bar party. And then these will be sold with them. Look at this one. I don't even know if they'd fit my big wrist. Oh, they do. So then you take those. And this is what those books are for that I showed you where you can put them all. <laughs> oh, Marcy's not going to just have three days. She'll be back, coming back quite a bit. So then see that little basketball hoop thing? And then you the, the kids collect the charms, and they put them on their bracelet. Isn't that the coolest thing in the world? You know, remember when we were, I know in the, I was in high school, so late 70s, and we were crazy over all the charms. Kind of the same deal. So, same concept of a croc. And now they've got bog bags. So then we got more patches for the hat. And so what, so Brittany's gonna do the hat thing. But so she could sublimate even on one of those tags I just bought, a picture of Porter holding his basketball and then around it, decorate it with his number. Um, now he's on the fighting Irish team or whatever. So she, at Hobby Lobby, she bought four leaf clovers and things like that. I know, you have to finally call a stop to it. I haven't ordered for a long time. 
And then these go in your bog bag and it like you can clip your keys to it or something. So I got two of those, one for each of the girls. And then, uh, hold on, I dropped it on the floor. And then here's the baseballs and you put that little thing in there. No, I think these are for, these are for the tops of your Stanley cups. That's what those are for. Let's see what's in here. More puzzles. You guys ever order? I noticed the last one, I got extras that I didn't order, but now I've got three sets of puzzles. You sublimate your, like your grandkids' pictures on there and they make jigsaw puzzles. I know I only ordered one, but I have three and I'm not done yet. I got two more small things. Or one more. The other one is some brushes I ordered off of the internet. Bag of something. Oh, look at the little headlights for your Crocs. <laughs> I wonder. You put them on your shoes. Ah, everything's falling. But, I don't know if it's turning on. Oh, look at that. You guys, you're going to be the best grandmothers in the world. If you go shop and give get your grandkids Croc shoes and order all these accessories for the Crocs, for your kids, if they're anything like my kids 30 and under however i think Brittany's 33 or 34 to buy them a bag and um I can't reach that far. and uh, decorate bags for them for easter and now that hobby lobby has them for only 40 dollars it's better and Oh, you can have a strobe light. You can have where it just stays on. Or you can have... So it's got different modes in there. Alright. I gotta put all this stuff away. Okay, these are the sublimated things that go over the top of your Stanley lids. And then I'm pretty sure this being green is. Ah, I got two of these. I got one the last time too. Anyway, I did. Did I already take it out to my car? You know how you get crumbs and stuff in your cup holder? These work really well. They're kind of like that. Um, you know, little vacuum I have that picks up the stuff, the diamond dust on your table works really good, but somehow I got two of them. They're only five and under, then it probably wouldn't be good for them. <laughs> your, your swing was thrown across the yard. Ah, uh, man. 32. Oh, <laughs> Brittany's 32. I thought she was 33. Anyway, Brittany, you got all your stuff. Um, they are, they're fun. It's something new. And, um, yeah. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to let you go. That's what came in to me today. I got one more package coming. 
All right, everybody. We won't say it too loud because my husband may be watching. And then I'm done. I am done. I got enough projects to last me a long time. So we'll be coming live when my friends get here and we start show you the sublimation machine we show you the hat press the heat press the glow forge the we can now sublimate on tumblers the sublimation machine the new scanner i got to scan my artwork the new printer i got to make like you know everybody wanted that lamb on a note card yeah, i can make lamb note cards i got so much stuff i don't know what to do i'll never have time to do it all so, you guys all have a great day, and be thinking bog bag or Crocs for Easter. Uh, thank you, Shirley. Well, that's what I'm going to do with all this equipment, is I will be sublimating it. I will be doing all the different things with it. So, 